Welcome to our kitchen oasis. Today I'm going to show you how to make caramel apple scrolls. First, you're going to mix the dry ingredients and water. So probably around three quarters of the flour and this is milk powder. Milk powder tends to get lumpy, so I mix it with the flour very well. And then water. So the reason why I left some flour is when I add the oil later, I add the rest of the flour with the oil so that it's easier to incorporate into the dough. So you mix it like this and as you can see it is still lumpy and not very elastic but this is fine. So this is the biggest trick. I leave this in the room temperature for 30 minutes and I'll show how this changes. After resting 30 minutes or so, you see how elastic it is already. So this is some um, gluten molecules joined together to make it really stretchy and elastic and it's a lot smoother as you can see so it's not lumpy anymore now you're going to add some more dry ingredients so sugar and yeast and mix a little bit and the rest of the flour and mix so as I explained earlier the reason why I left a bit of flour is to make the oil to incorporate easier So roughly mix it and it's ready to knead. Now you're going to knead it. First you use your heel of your palm and push it like this. And it is a bit sticky but it will come together so try not to add any flour. After a minute or so, all the flour is gone, all the salt and sugar and everything's all mixed in well, then you're going to just gather the dough together like this. And just lift up a bit and bash it on the bench. So 
So brush it and then roll it. Brush it and roll it. And brush and roll over, brush and roll over. You lift the side, brush and roll, brush and roll. Pick up the side, brush and roll. It's only three minutes. It's already pretty good nice elastic dough so once it gets a little too firm you can just relax the dough with the rolling motion like this somehow it really relaxes the gluten and then brush a bit more It's not even five minutes from the beginning. It's already pretty good. And I'm gonna show you how elastic it is. So this is window pane test. You can see my finger through the dough being so thin. So this is pretty good. I did a little bit more. After only kneading for five minutes or so, the dough is nice and bouncy. It's all done. So resting for 30 minutes with just water and flour makes the big difference. So now you're going to put this in a just lightly oiled bowl and just a tiny bit of oil and cover it so that it doesn't dry out and cover it and rest it for an hour to one and a half hours. After one hour and 15 minutes the dough has risen like this and roughly double in size. So it's ready to go. But there's another way to check how ready it is. I'm gonna show you how. This is called finger test. You put flour on your finger and put that finger in there like that. And if the whole stays the shape then that's ready but if it's not ready the hole will shrink so then you rest another 20 to 30 minutes now the dough is ready so onto the bench you flatten the dough to remove the air and make a bowl and then cut in half. You'll make two bowls like this, pulling out the dough downwards. Make a nice round shape. You put some oil to prevent them from drying. And then cover with a tea towel to rest. Now you prep the apples. I'm using this green apple called Granny Smith, but any apple will do. You cut the apple in quarter, remove the core and peel. Cut the piece in half and slice both pieces together to make thin slices like this. I don't pre-cook the apple, so the pieces should be reasonably thin to be cooked in the oven. Squeeze some lemon juice to avoid discoloration. Mm. 
Then you make caramel sauce. In a heat proof dish, you put brown sugar, butter, and water. In microwave about 30 seconds until the butter is melted. And you mix well. You may think it's watery, but it will be nice and gooey when it's baked. The dough is rested for 15 minutes or so and relaxed and easy to deal with now. So you roll the dough, removing all the big air bubbles and spreading to a rectangular shape. You pull the corners like this and flatten it evenly. You spread half the apple pieces evenly. But you leave this part empty. You start rolling this way. And then pinch the end to seal. Repeat with the other dough. Then you cut the dough. I cut in eight pieces, but please adjust the number to suit your tin shape and size. I recommend using a very sharp knife. In the lined tin, you pour the caramel sauce you made earlier. Spread to the corners. You place the dough cup side up like this in the tin. And you cover it and rest for an hour or so until the dough puffs up nicely like this. Bake the scrolls in preheated oven at 190 degrees or 180 fan forced for 30 minutes or so until they become golden brown. They are so soft and beautifully gooey on the bottom when they are freshly baked. Hope you enjoy the video. Thank you for watching. See you next time.